Hello everyone, today is day 15 of the speaking challenge. My today practice, I would like to start with the word of the day. And this word is reinvigorate. This is the verb, so to reinvigorate. This verb uh, derives um, from Latin word and has few interesting prefixes. For example, re means new, renewal, renewed. Prefix in directly means um, like in something or into, uh, toward or within. Mm -hmm. Vigor is a Latin word which means like healthy power or um, lively strength or a force. And the last one, eight, uh, prefix eight, you know, helps to form verbs or adjectives and its function by forming different types of verbs and adjectives helps to show the action in a very specified way. So I would say that uh, this prefix um, strengths uh, the whole meaning of the word. For example, if I put all these um, prefixes meanings together, I would say that reinvigorate means to give something or someone a new power or energy or even life so it has very positive meaning actually and I would compare this word with another one like reverse which for me means like a synonym or association that helps to memorize this verb easier and here are my examples, how I, how I would um, use this word in written or spoken English. Um, but I'm not really sure that <laughs> this word usually used in the spoken English, but anyway. So, by practicing my target language, I reinvigorate, I'm sorry, many points of my life, which means that by practicing uh, English language, I can make different points of my life more lively, more uh, healthy, more stronger, like in a new way. Mm. And the next one, if you want to invigorate many points of your life, it's better for you to practice your target language little by little but every day so and uh, before I began to speak uh, about the main topic I really would like to share with you um, some <laughs> news today I watched a cartoon called um, a fantastic mr. Fox directed by Wes Anderson he is a very famous Hollywood artist and a director. And if you watched that movie called um, The Grand Budapest Hotel, so you would definitely know this name. And I really love um, all Wes Anderson's movies. And... Um, the very interesting thing for me was that I could exactly recognize the famous Hollywood actors' voices who voiced the main characters. For example, there were two main characters, Mr. Fox and Mrs. Fox. So Mr. Fox was being voiced by George Clooney 
and I could comprehend it right when I was while I was watching the cartoon and Mrs. Fox was being voiced by Meryl Streep and when I just uh, wanted to check um, to check my how to say um, or uh, not check and when I wanted to assure that I was right with my decisions, with my comprehension. I read an article about this uh, cartoon on Wikipedia and when I saw, when I read, I'm sorry, when I read their names, I I was just, you know, like not paralyzed, but I was so surprised and astonished that I could distinguish their voices and I said wow I can do that and I don't know actually how what does this mean in terms of my language progress but I think it's a really really good thing that happened to me today and to say honestly I was a little proud of myself that I can distinguish English voices so and now I want to talk about um, main topic about the main topic for today practice. So my goals for the next upcoming um, weeks of the challenge um, seems to be the same as it was previously, or it as it has been previously. I really want to stay focused on diversity of English vocabulary. It's really helpful practice. Mm, this is one of mm, one of fruition that I keep in my mind. And uh, also I want to work on English tenses comparison because this technique I believe and I know it works for me at least this technique helps to memorize differences and similarities of um, these devious English rules easier. And of course, I just want to enjoy the process of my practice and I'm really happy that there is a chance for all of us to stay connected to each other to share our stories, our feedback, and to support each other. Thank you very much for this, guys. <laughs> and I think this is it for my today practice. Thanks again for watching, for your feedback. Have a nice morning, day, evening, or night, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.